What's up everyone, this is Hansonite91 back once again for some more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we finally made our way here to the Crystal Palace, and we got almost all the way through it actually. In this part, we're gonna finish it off. As well as get the final Star Spirit. Surprisingly, it wasn't too long ago that I actually started this this LP off. Kinda sad to see it end so soon. But then again, the Mario RPGs are kind of infinite, infamous, uh, with being very short games, so that's kind of depressing. One second. I actually forgot something that I could have done a bit earlier in one of my, uh, in the last part, I believe. I'm wrong, or... Yeah. It's not this wall, it's a different wall. It's a wall that you have to bomb in order to get a very special badge. It's good for some people, but I tend to really overlook it, because it's not... It's not really good for someone like me. Okay. Thank you! It's through this door. And of course, we got more of these things to deal with. Good thing I restocked outside. Otherwise, I'd be in a lot of hurt. And we shouldn't be too far off from getting. Yeah, we are kind of far off. We're about halfway, halfway to another level. Dodge those though. Figures. Now I'm actually gonna take out the guy behind ya. Because those guys can be annoying. And there's no sense in wasting three extra FP on uh on two guys who are just gonna die next turn anyway, so it's good to know how to conserve your energy and your flower points. Now I know. It's this wall. Let's go over here. Put Bummet down. And it blows up the wall. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha, you mother humpers! Oh boy. This does not look good. Why these guys are so resilient? Take you guys out one at a time. Seriously, it took 21 hits to take them down? These aren't new glucose, these are beef. Pure beef. Oh well, that's not gonna detour me. Ha ha! Suckers! Ooh, baby! That's what I like to see. Plenty of cash. Alright. Inside we get... The triple dip allows you to use three items during battle. Now, you can kind of already see where I'm heading with this. I don't like to use items all really nilly. I only want to use them when I need to use them. Or when I expect something bad to happen. That sort of thing. Otherwise, it's just not for me. Okay, it seems that we might as well try to get our next level up. Boom! I'm gonna take care of this guy right now. Because he's gonna get annoying fast. What the black ones can do is make the other uh, enemies transparent. And that gets really fucking annoying. The red guys, they increase attack and defense, I believe. 
so that's a bit less of a problem. But they should go down quite easily. Something tells me I'm not gonna have enough. Yep. Three off. Damn you! Seems like I should sock myself with much... with a lot more, uh... uh flower power restoring items. I just feel that health is a bit more important since it keeps you in the game longer. But whatevs. Do each his own. Or her own, or whatever you may choose. Okay, not gonna go in there just yet. Since I do want to get my stuff refilled before the final... The final bout. Really all we need to do is just kill one more enemy. Damn it! Uchi Baba! This is not gonna end well, I can just tell. Well, I was saving that splash, I might as well use it. Time for a little bit of a star shower. I'm gonna use the last of the MP to hopefully take these guys out. I don't need to take care of the white Magikoopa, though. He's just gonna, you know, like a chicken shit. I'm gonna level up. That means more badge points. Always use more badge points. Okay, I think now we're ready to take on the big bat of this place. Let's pawn more happy flower. I still don't know if the, the happy badges stack at all, but I'm pretty sure that they don't. Otherwise, I'd, I'd, I'd call them broken. You know, getting 2 HP per turn and like 2 FP per turn seems kind of, you know, cheap to me. Oh, here we have a puzzle room. It's not that difficult. Just move the rhinos, I guess they're called over to the different colored squares. And they'll say the exact same thing every fucking time, so don't bother. I, yes, I know it's awkward having to move these things, but hey, it's what the game calls for. You just have to move them in the right direction, and you should be able to move the statues accordingly. It's not at all difficult. Let's move him this way. And they had to make... We had to make all these different sprites with them, facing all the different ways. Kind of weird, but whatevs. In we go. Here's a hard block and the save point, just in case you need it. I'm not gonna use it! I don't need it. Who do you think, genius? Say hello to the Crystal King. Is that all you got? You ain't got no body. No, oh, you won't have to let me. I'll just pry it from your cold, non-existent hands. Now, people say that this guy is probably one of the more difficult bosses in the game because, one, he can heal himself, two, he's multi-staged, and three, he can immobilize Mario. So it's really kind of annoying what he can do. And word to the wise, don't bring Bo into this fight because she cannot harm him at all. I know it sucks, but hey, that's how the game works. I believe how he heals himself is that he uses his three little crystal bits up there to, you know, inhale himself, much like Huff and Puff does. 
So, the main priority is just to get rid of these guys first. For that, you might want someone like Paracuri or Lacanto. Or Lacalester, rather. Because they can attack multiple enemies at once. And that's what you can use to immobilize you. Luckily, if you're packed like I am, you won't have that. See that happy flower kicking in, unfortunately. Really come in handy right about now. And if you if you defend against it, he can't do a damn thing. You get mashed in the face. And this guy has some some pseudo pseudo height. Defense. I believe he has like plus two defense. And he has 70 HP. Asshole. But if you're at least doing like something like 10 HP a turn, then you should. Motherfucker. But luckily, he doesn't do that move too often. So you don't really have to worry about him spamming it. Now he does this. He makes copies of himself. And you have to hit the right one! Otherwise you pass right through. For this, you want something like... Again... Paracarry, or... Or even Sushi's, you know... Tidal Wave move. Or like Lester's, uh... Spiny Storm. Me, I prefer the classics. Sure, it seems kind of a waste to only hit one guy, but it's a guaranteed hit. If you keep this up, he shouldn't be able to do much to defend against you. Thank God I have that Flower Saver badge. Because it helps a lot. Fucker! I guess I have to take the hammer to your face again. You just never learn, do ya? The boy seems to do it just when you think you're about to put him away. Oh. Yep! Damn it! So you can kind of see why people hate this guy. Unfortunately, this turn I can't fucking attack him, so this is gonna probably hurt like a bitch. So I can't do a damn thing. Ow. Asshole. I guess I gotta heal myself. I'm not gonna last. Poor Bombat still can't do anything. With him continuously doing that, that's not gonna be pleasant. Fuck it, I need HP more. It's more important. I have no idea how the hell to dodge that. Time to chug some syrup. Always pays to have the refund badge on. Now, the pain can finally commence. Jackass! Up he goes again. Okay, my last syrup. Gotta make it count this time.
I should probably just switch over to someone with aerial combat skills. Paracarry. Or, better yet, like a Lester, because he, his multi-hitting attack doesn't cost too much. Rick. Then again, he doesn't have the attack prowess so of the bomb ability. It's like a never-ending goddamn cycle. It just doesn't stop. Heard somewhere that if you use the fire shield badge, then that might actually help you against the ice attacks, but I'm not too sure. Not today, you son of a bitch. You're getting a hammer to the face. You're gonna like it. Sweet Bippy. That was annoying. But we beat him. Son of a bitch. Melt away, you icy asshole. And this will release the final Star Spirit. Now it's time to meet the ever cool headed Kalmar. There's probably nothing left for Peach to do since there's really no more uh, levels after this, so to speak. But very little you have done. It's not like she could use that fucking parasol and just float down. I wouldn't exactly call Bowser cuddly. Bowser, this is where you start getting... Where you started to get, you know... Not intimidating at all. You became more of a comedic villain. Gave him a voice. Somewhat. Not talking like the one in Sunshine, oh god, no. But they gave him more personality than just a monster. No such thing as invincibility when I'm around. Except when I get a star move. Oh, really? Genius troop you have here, Bowser. Real geniuses. Of course, he actually has to take her away. Again! This time she's actually in a room, and she, they pulled the <laughs> they pulled the Night at the Roxbury on her. <laughs> that's that's funny. It's not like they're actually moving their hands; they're just humping her. Jesus! Thank you, Bowser. Smack that bitch. Fuck you, Twink.
Yeah, I've noticed. Finally all seven. Yeah, like I haven't been doing that for the past 20 years. Now it's time for our final star power. Up and away. Turn all enemies into stars, but unfortunately, you don't gain experience from, from it, so I do not use it. So basically what you get from Kalmar is just another section of your star bar. Star away, huh? I think we'll have to wait on that one, but we'll definitely keep in touch, Kalmar. Oh boy. What a day. Healing! I guess I already to heal. Ah, whatever. Ending another video in the same damn spot as I have for the, like, the path, what, three videos? This is gonna do it for today, so next time in Let's Play Paper Mario, we're actually gonna start doing the rest of the side quests before we get we get our asses back to, you know, defeating Bowser and saving the world. Same old, same old. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.